Hello everybody and welcome to the LFC Transfer Room. My name is Louis and today we'll be doing a quick little player analysis on Brighton's 20-year-old central midfielder Moise Caicedo. Uh, apologies for the pronunciation if that's not 100% correct. Uh, Liverpool have been quite out of the blue linked with him for a £50 million move which uh, we'll get into very shortly just to, to see if that's actually a, a pro approximate for what we'd be getting and how that compares to the market and other players that we've been interested in, bearing in mind we could have been getting uh, Matthias Nunes for somewhere in the region of 40 to 50 million pounds as well. Uh, Moise, uh, Moise Caicedo, 20 years old, as I said, from Brighton, predominantly is uh, a CDM or a central midfielder, mainly plays on the left hand side of that. But his overall game so far suggests that his uh, his ceiling would be best reached in a in a def more defensive role. So as a defensive left-sided midfielder or as the CDM. So straight away, that kind of ticks a box for us. It is, it is something that we have spoken about that we need, which is a, a truly competent backup for Fabinho. Um, whether that is whether that is Moise Casido is is yet to be discovered. But his I mean his physique is okay. He's, he's um He's got solid strength uh, and has actually a, a good percentage of aerial jewels won. He ranks in the 97th percentile um, for aerial jewels won this year, or the percentage of that, actually. So aerial jewels won 1.61 per 90, uh, works out at about 68, uh, the 68th percentile. So, you know, looking through his stats on FB ref, nothing particularly stands out apart from those more defensive attributes. Like we talked about tackles per 90 he's in the 84th percentile with about three uh, tackles per 90, 2.04 of those one per 90, putting him in the 86th percentile for that. Uh, his passing is good. He takes a lot of risks, which don't always pay off as you would expect. Um, but I feel like that's something that could easily be trained, isn't it? He's very versatile. He's not predictable. Um, and in a Potter system, which is, I mean, it's not, it's not sim it's not necessarily similar to how we play football um, in that sense, but it is quite a high risk, high reward type football. And he looks fairly confident in that, which is a big part of, of, of maybe why we're looking at him is his versatility. He's played in, several different leagues already in his career, several different play styles. And he's taken to all of those fairly quickly, still at the ripe age of 20 years old. One of the things that he's definitely lacking, which again brings into question the direction of our midfield, if this interest is indeed correct, um, is his dribbling. That is by no means his strong suit at all. And uh, he, he very rarely, um, well, when he does attempt it, it's more often than not actually, uh, quite unsuccessful, um, unfortunately. The good news is, at present, midfielders in a clock midfield are not really required to dribble a lot. It's about getting the ball, recycling it, moving it quickly, rather than taking it, getting your head up and looking to dribble with it. You can argue that maybe that's what we should be looking to move towards with any new signings. But again, this is someone who would come in and be able to fill in maybe on the left-hand side, but perhaps would be more of a backup option for Fabinho. So this is not the player that's going to revolutionise our midfield. This is not a Jude Bellingham who's going to come and play on the right-hand side and be that creator, be the person who takes the ball um, and gets his head up looking to play those uh, endeavouring balls and um, you know make those 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 high rewards, high-risk, high-reward dribbles necessarily. Um, so that, that brings us to the transfer fee. It just seems... It, you know, I hate to put I hate to put a bad spin on it straight away, but it just seems quite unnecessary, doesn't it? Fifty million pounds for someone who is going to be a backup is going to be a backup. And what I would also say is, Fabinho, when he's at his best, and I know that hasn't always been the case recently, but he is a very proactive player. He's someone who reads the danger before it happens. And what we've seen from Casido in his time in the Premier League, at least with Brighton, is that he can tend to be quite reactive. And when he's not in the middle of things, where when he's on the other side of the pitch to the, where the play's happening or when he's not involved, he can switch off. And that's the opposite of what Fabinho is. Fabinho is always spotting that danger so that as soon as we lose the ball, he knows where to position himself. Whereas Caicedo would be more akin to Jordan Henderson in that regard in that when we're in attack and he's you know at the base of the midfield, not particularly involved in the build-up perhaps, 
he'll be switching off. He won't necessarily have a 360 vision of what's going on around him, waiting for us to lose possession and, and, and spotting that breakaway before it ever gets underway. With Henderson, that it's more likely to happen. And that's kind of at the minute where Caicedo lies. Now, again, he is 20. He has a higher ceiling and he could be, he could be trained out of that. But is that what is that what we need now? And is that worth fifty million pounds? I don't know. We could have had Matthias Nunes for about thirty, forty, maybe even fifty. And I, I feel like it's obvious who's the better player and who would perhaps be able to offer us um, a lot more for what we need currently. But I do think we genuinely need a decent cover for Fabinho. Jordan Henderson, a lot of people think that that's where Jordan Henderson should play mainly, but I disagree. I don't think he's got the temperament. Um, and even though he's you know, in his 30s now, I don't think he's got that level of, maybe maturity is not the right word, but footballing brain to to sit there at the base, marshal things, control the tempo necessarily. He's he's much more of a, he's much more suited to fast games, end-to-end games necessarily. But even that looks like it's on the decline. So, but Moyes Caicedo, can he come in and be a success? Is he worth £50 million? Pounds? I have a feeling I know what a lot of you are going to say. So, please do get involved uh, in the comments below. Let us know what you think. Moyes Caicedo, we've been linked with the Brighton central midfielder, 20 years of age, right-footed, CDM or left-sided eight, um, pretty more defensive-minded than attacking, £50 million. Pounds. Is that someone that we should be trying to buy right now? Is that worth the astronomical fee, it has to be said, for a 20-year-old who, although is versatile and has shown he can do it in several leagues, is is still quite unproven and, and maybe doesn't tick all of the boxes that we would necessarily want. Let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching this uh, very quick rundown of the latest midfielder to be linked to Liverpool, Moise Caicedo. Please do like this video. Please subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video. Take care.